Hi guys! So, um, happy October. <laughs> and in light of October, I thought I would do a fun pour. I know you guys have probably seen this on a lot of other channels with the strainer. But, you know what, I've never tried it, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, I picked out some pretty candy corn colors. And, yeah. So, I have put, basically I've got, this is Deco Art uh, Orange. I got Deco Art Yellow. I got some Black and some white and I bought these cute little strainers off of Amazon uh, they got a lot of little grooves so I thought they'd be perfect and this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas so I thought it would work out pretty cool for like an October Thanksgiving kind of themed pour and what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to pour a little bit of white underneath in the middle <laughs> and then stick the strainer inside. <laughs> so, I think it'll be alright. And we're just going to pour and see what comes out. I've seen some. It might not be super level here. So I'm just lifting up one side of my canvas. Look at that, it's kind of cool, hey guys? <laughs> Definitely makes it a really cool, neat pattern and it's kind of fun to play with. Yellow. <laughs> Starting to get over the edges now. Which is kind of cool. I'm just going to help it get all the way to these edges. <laughs> I know normally people don't tip it, but I kind of like it. I'll bring some of that back. So we've got it so that it's going over the edges. Very cool. Some yellow. 
little part. I kind of like that. Even though it's not the traditional where it bleeds all the way to the sides. that out. Ooh, funky. I kind of like the white lines that happen in the corners, so I'm going to try and do a bit of that. happening over here might actually lead that middle piece off. Is looking pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. I like it. Something totally different. These are super fun to play with, these uh, strainers. <laughs> kind of neat, kind of different. I didn't do it like, normally they just let it spread out, but I like the lines that I'm getting with the cells in here. A funky Halloween pour. I got more Halloween pours to come, but I think that looks pretty funky. <laughs> Definitely different, but I thought I would try out the, uh, the strainer technique. I kind of like it. Just for something fun and different. And then what I'm going to do is, I know everybody thinks that it's just a big waste of paint, but I'm going to show you, move this over. So we got all this paint down here, but don't fret because you can make gorgeous paint skins. So all I do is I kind of collect. bring together the paint. It's looking really cool already, but I got to use up all the paint. So, use even more black. So can use that up. I do have some white. And I just flop on there. And then, like I said, I just like to kind of flip it over. 
You could swipe, you could do a whole bunch of things. But it's gonna grow. Definitely gonna grow. You can see it moving out. It's pretty cool. And you can use the torch where the paint is, just be careful not to go near the plastic that it's spreading out on. That looks super cool. So this is going to take a long time to dry. Um, paint skins usually do because they're on plastic. I love all the webbing getting in here. Um, turned kind of a greeny color. That's okay. It's like an army green almost. <laughs> Something different. Super funky though. I'm going to let that spread out and dry, and we'll go from there. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing, watching, liking, and sharing my videos. And I have more to come for some more Halloween inspired videos. They just take a little bit of time because there's lots of um, different steps and I have to let things dry in between but I think they're going to turn out pretty cool and check out the links in the description and I really appreciate you guys using my links for products and stuff that helps me out a little bit and I can't wait to see you on the next vid thanks so much guys